I could say he actually started out as part of the Tea Party movement, and if you take a look at his voting record early on, he generally got good conservative marks. He's become part of the uh, leadership team, though, down at the Texas House, and as most people familiar with Austin will tell you, it's even more swampy than Washington, D.C., and unfortunately, I think he's been kind of co-opted by that. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. You can go to Texas Scorecard and take a look at his rankings. There are several different <clears throat> organizations there that give their grades for him, and they generally range from C to F. Um, they also did a documentary called The Texas Heist, in which they explained why the Texas House, with a majority of Republicans, is still run like a Democrat-controlled institution, and they attribute that to the Dirty Dozen, the 12 kind of members of the cartel who have conspired with the Democrats, and State Representative Craig Goldman's prominently featured as part of the Dirty Dozen. So I don't have a voting record. I know uh, a lot of politicians will espouse what they believe, but honestly, I think he can sum me up in, in one expression, which is America first. President Trump's policies worked. If you take a look at where we were in 2019, this country enjoyed peace and prosperity, and we need to return to those. But we need to have people in the House who are going to pass his agenda legislatively so it isn't done by executive order. Because we've seen now when you have a Democrat who walks into the White House and just shreds those on day one, this is where we are.